Okay, I was just going to pick up uh, for the weight loss site where we left off in part one. Um, the, only, there's, the only difference is now is I actually put this site on one of my fat loss domains that I have. So you're going to get to see kind of how I'm going to uh, set this site up um, and to get traffic. I mean, I'm, I'm going to try to make money from this site. Um, I'm going to treat this just like any of my other niche sites, okay? So you're going to kind of get to see what I do. Um, as far as trying to uh, make money with this site, okay? Um, but it's going to be training, and I'm going to pick up where we left off from part one of the weight loss product review site training. Now, I did do a couple things um, already, and basically they had to do with security. I went ahead and um, put in my country block uh, plugin, um, and it's IQ country block. I've also uploaded the uh, file to my uh, WP content uploads folder. Now I've done a video for that um, and it's on my YouTube channel so you can see how I do that. But I've also added WordFence. So if we take a look at the plugins real quick, the one plugin is IQ country block and then WordFence. Now, like I said, I've done the uh, videos going over um, those two plugins on my channel so you can take a look at those. Okay, now uh, the other thing, um, I, I'm going to go ahead and integrate my Spin Rewriter account for um, all the content that's on the site. Now one of the first things I need to do, like I showed you in the first video, is, in, is add my own uh, Amazon affiliate IDs uh, or in, in ClickBank affiliate IDs um, so that um, while I'm working with the site, if somebody does come and click on one of my uh, call to actions, I get paid. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and do that since I already showed you how to do that and come right back. Now one thing I am going to do is go into my Amazon Associates account and create a tracking ID for this particular site. And I recommend that you do the same. Um, one thing I noticed, um, I haven't been into my Associates account in, a, in probably a week or so. Um, and they changed everything so everything looks really good now I, I like the way this new setup is but um, we may go over that later but we're going to change or create a tracking ID for our, our new site and basically what we're going to do is go to where it says tracking ID we're going to go to manage now in our tracking IDs we're going to click add tracking ID and I'm going to create uh, my own tracking ID I'm going to click search to make sure it's available and it is available so I'm going to copy this new tracking ID I'm going to click continue I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to use this tracking ID which is my Amazon affiliate ID but it's a tracking ID as well I'm going to go down and go ahead and add these in okay so make sure you do that and add a tracking ID that way you can know where your sales are coming from Okay, so I got my ads in, or my uh, IDs in the ads and in the content for all the product reviews. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings and uh, reading. And right here where it says search engine visibility, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this so my site can be indexed. It's very important that you do this. I'm going to click save. Okay now we got that next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down to where it says maintenance and click on maintenance my site is on maintenance right now as an admin I can see the site but visitors can't so I'm gonna go ahead and turn maintenance off and go ahead and click save changes now the site is live and uh, visitors can see it now all of your content can be indexed all of your uh, URLs can be indexed by Google and the other search engines now if you have spin rewriter um, and you want to integrate which I recommend that you do make sure you grab their plugin okay so um, I'm gonna go ahead and set this to medium and the protected words I'm gonna protect fat loss weight loss okay and then I'm you're gonna make sure and set this to yes so it will automatically protect capitalized words uh, in, in other words it's gonna protect our uh, product name so whatever we're, the product review is over that name is going to protect it and not spin the title of the product okay now I'm going to go ahead and set up this opt-in box here okay and it could be because we're giving away a free guide we want to make sure that um, if people are coming to our site that we want to make sure they get this guide and opt into our our uh, newsletter okay so what we're going to be taking a look at is uh, WP conversion boxes okay and so here's our boxes right here um, we have one that's a test um, the one that we're looking at here 
is belly fat and newsletter okay now all we can do is click this little arrow to go arrow to go down and it will um, give us some options um, we can go to box settings under the customize box is where you you can customize everything and uh, keep in mind this is a newsletter okay this is a free new newsletter that we give out um, but here's all the customizations um, for this box which is right after your content okay and you can do all the uh, uh, customization here now if you scroll down to where it says opt-in form settings um, you're gonna see that um, it integrates with MailPoet okay and and MailPoet is right up here okay so right now it has a default list which is called my first list this list is in MailPoet okay so all of this just is the box or the con or the way it looks okay now what we're going to do now is go over to MailPoet and we can go to settings first okay you can put in your um, business name you know the name of your site okay um, if you have uh, an email notification uh, email you can put that here and this would be an email that you um, check often okay now where it says send with you can choose to use your own website which will this will work for most everybody um, until you get really um, big list of subscribers then you probably want to go to a third party um, okay or even move on to uh, you know a, a dedicated autoresponder but just keep it at your website you uh, use your own website uh, PHP mail system and you should be fine now we're gonna click on newsletters now we need to create a new newsletter um, you can click create new one or you can just do a duplicate of the uh, sample here okay and this is going to be the um, and you can change the name of it here so I'm going to call it belly fat free and I'm going to check my first list and we'll edit that here in a little bit and we're going to click next step and we're going to go ahead and choose automatic uh, newsletter we're going to choose automatically sent when some subscri uh, somebody subscribes. Okay, we're going to choose my first list for now, and then the first one we're going to send uh, immediately. Now we're going to click next step. This is the step that you actually build your newsletter, and we will go ahead and save this for now. And now we're going to click on subscribers, and we're going to go ahead and um, edit this uh, my first list. Okay, we can edit it. We can call this um, uh, our newsletter uh, list. Okay, once you've edited that, we're going to go up here to where it says um, edit list. And right here where it says my first list, we're going to edit that. And we're going to change the name to belly fat free. And we'll put a description. Okay, and we're going to click update list. Now the only thing we need to do is go in and um, create our newsletter. And I'll make sure and give you the download for this newsletter, okay, which is this one that you're giving away. I'll give that to you and you can use it to create your newsletter. Okay, I'll put the download on your download page. Okay, in the next video we're going to talk a little bit about um, uh, getting ready to start driving traffic to the site, doing a couple things that we need to do. And uh, so we'll, we'll tackle that in the next video. Thanks, guys.